As populations and cities grow, redevelopment and infrastructure expansion become necessary. Witness how Dublin masters this balance, allowing its future to unfold without letting go of its past. Watching Dublin's growth, you'll see the harmony. New buildings rise, yet past stories aren't forgotten. Join us at the city's heart nearby St. Stephen's Green. Here, deformation monitoring is integrated into the construction process of the new campus for the Royal College of Surgeons. This site, positioned alongside the Dublin Unitarian Church, stands not just as a symbol of progress, but also as a testament to our commitment to heritage preservation. Bennett Construction, we were awarded the, the contract to build a Project Connect for uh, the Royal College of Surgeons in March 2021. We were delighted to get going on the project uh, and the project itself is situated between two uh, protected structures uh, to the north and the south, the, the Unitarian Church on the south and 119 Shanahan's Restaurant to the north and then we've also got the Lewis Lane right outside on St Stephen's Green. In 1863 um, a decision was made to build a new, uh, new church, a new meeting house. So it's actually an unusual building in some respects for a congregation that comes from that dissenting tradition because normally the meeting houses were very simple, very plain. Now that said, um, this is fairly ornate for a, a meeting house. The windows, which are, they generate a lot of interest, particularly as three of them are Irish windows, were all designed by a firm called uh, on Tour Glenna, which is a stained glass cooperative uh, here in Dublin. This one is the Andrews window, whose this family were the family that built the Titanic. As part of the project specification, we were given an outline brief by the structural engineers of Connor Sutton Cronin. It required us to maintain uh, minimum crack widths of, uh, uh, over the, pro the course of the project on the two protective structures. And then we developed a site-specific solution uh, which involved, uh, as you know, continually monitoring uh, the, the two protective structures, the tracks, some of the surrounding buildings continuously 24-7. And for now we're at a stage where the, the superstructure is due to be completed, our, our roof level slab is to be poured in the next few days. Uh, everything has remained within the project specific limits in terms of movement, uh, which is a great result for us. With regards to the construction works next door. The first was the design and we were, we were satisfied. The college consulted with us, uh, um, you know, with a great relationship with the college. You know, people like coming into the building, it's, it's, it's popular in Dublin. And, you know, people coming in for weddings and baptisms, but also there's quite a lot of uh, events held here. The equipment we use, Bennett Construction as a company, we use Leica equipment exclusively on all our sites for all our, our setting out. We're familiar with the, with the instruments, their accuracy and their reliability. Our company, LDG Datum, are a geotechnical and structural monitoring company. Uh, we have had the pleasure of uh, securing a contract at the RCSI on St Stephen's Green in Dublin to provide a historical preservation monitoring campaign and uh, that involves using your uh, multi-stations. Manual monitoring uh, consisted of the LS15 digital level. Um, it was a requirement uh, at the initial stage because the automated systems couldn't be set up at that time. Uh, it also goes in hand with the Lewis line as a uh, mandatory monitoring campaign on their side. Um, ultimately, the preservation of the church was paramount. We needed to make sure that the equipment that we were deploying uh, had respect to the facade of that church. So we were able to put prisms with um, an adhesive onto the fabric of the Unitarian Church and also use the scanning solution within the instrument to scan the loose. The beauty of uh, having that MS-60 is uh, being able to have imagery. So we're able to take images of the site um, in question if we can't find a prism because of a scaffold or an acro prop, uh, we're able to move the, uh, the scanner to a certain area and scan that specific patch. It's been instrumental, the, uh, the service support from uh, LIGA, uh, from the equipment calibration, we're able to say, yes, it's due for calibration and uh, we get that serviced regularly. And uh, from the 
data display, uh, the GMOS monitor and GMOS now have come into a league of its own because it's simple to use and uh, the customer uh, approves that it's, uh, it's simplistic. There, there isn't much that goes to it, but it tells you everything you need to know. Uh, it is easy to try and set up the, uh, the projects, not just this one, but the, the 60 or 70 other projects because it's efficient. This is where we use the camera on the MS60. Uh, so we're able to view the site at any time from our office. Uh, we're able to update the contractor uh, that uh, there could be a potential issue either with the siting of prisms or there has been a, a new development within the site. The installation of more prisms uh, can be kept to a minimum because of the feature of the scanning. Uh, we need to know that uh, the support is there in the event of a problem occurring or we need to have equipment uh, at the drop of a hat and uh, that's why we pay into the CCPs. It is important that we have uh, an understanding that if our equipment is faulty or breaks down that we have a replacement that's there um, as, as quick as we can get on the phone. The accuracy of the instruments are probably one of the, the world's best uh, but it's, it's really down to how it's installed. Um, so from that perspective we've got a really good set of uh, installation engineers that uh, really know how to ensure that the products are set up correctly and from that point uh, we get reliable steady data unless there's a problem and then that's when we can rely and trust the data that there is a problem because we've got the world's best instruments, we've got what I believe is the world's best engineers installing and then we have what is the output, which is reliable, trustworthy data.